I think what's happened is that linkage. Hey! 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 I'm filming over here. I need help from you diesel mechanics. My neighbor brought this piece of equipment over and it actually has a diesel engine on it. And I have not worked on diesel engines a lot, but I'm mechanically inclined and I thought I'd give it a try. So I might not get the terminology just right, but I'll walk you through it with me, how I figure it out, and hopefully we'll get it running. Let's do it. Here's my game plan. I don't want to put any money into this if the seals are all dried out and it's not worth fixing. So what I'm gonna do is check the oil. I'm gonna take the fuel filter off, look inside there, and if I've got oil in the crankcase and the fuel filter's not all gummed up and clogged up, I'm just gonna fuel it up, bleed the lines, and see if we can get it going. And I'm gonna jump the battery. You got oil. Mercy, mercy, mercy. I imagine this has the original oil in it, all the original filters. It's probably never been used. Maybe it has, I don't know. Even if it's been used, I bet that's all the original. I don't know if I can get that filter off without busting something. Oh, there. Oh, yeah. Come on, baby. There's some 10 or 20 year old diesel fuel there. I guarantee you that's at least 10 years old, if not more. I don't want to risk ruining the engine and sucking the filtration debris into the engine and mess all that up. So I went ahead, got a new uh, fuel filter. But before I do that, I want to make sure that the diesel tank is empty and then I'm gonna put some fresh fuel in it, run the hand pump, and see if I can pump it through with the fuel filter off and flush that out. And then we'll get it all hooked up from there and I'll try to pump it through, bleed the lines, and we'll see if we can get it going. She's dry in there, no doubt about it. All right, that ought to be enough to give her a good test. Oh gosh, there's debris in there too. It's good we're pumping this out. But that's a good sign that it's pumping. That means the pump's not all dried out. I'm getting fresh fuel now. You can see the debris that's in there. Maybe you can. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the new fuel filter on. Don't forget that little gasket there. We've established that we've got diesel fuel going all the way to here, but not getting through the pump. And sometimes these can get gummed up. So what I'm going to do is, there's two pumps on here. Runs off the camshaft, and that's what pushes the fuel through to the injectors. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take them apart and see if they're gummed up and need to be cleaned. Now, I didn't know this, but underneath these caps here is access a little cotter pin that holds the shaft to the pump, and that's what operates it. And I need to release that cotter pin and pull that out, and then hopefully I can take the pump out. Silver dot in there. That's the cotter pin. A little leverage. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Maybe I can hold the linkage with my... <laughs> got it all out. Beautiful. Uh, I gotta at least take that fuel line off, I think. There we go. And I wanna take these injectors back out, take them apart, and clean them. They're probably gummed up too. Ah, it stayed on. Well, it's stuck on this one. I gotta take these apart and clean them up. 
Oh, let's go over to the workbench. Take these apart and clean them up. There we go. There we got her. Thank you, Lord. And now this will come out. It's a little sticky in there. You can see how that's discolored. And the way I'm going to clean it up, I'm going to put it in uh, acetone. Let it soak a little bit. There's no rubber parts or anything in here. It just wants to spin in there. I can't clamp down on here. If I mess this up, I'm in big trouble. So I'm just going to soak it the way it is. Hopefully it'll free up. That acetone really eats away at the uh, old diesel fuel that's gummed up. Just let her soak in there for well, two, three hours. See how nice that slides now? Eee, Doug. Let's put her back together. And there we go. She's good to go. I've been soaking this injector overnight because I couldn't get it apart. This engine had diesel fuel sitting in it for over 10 years, unused. So it got all gummed up. It. I tried to get it off before and I couldn't. This is the only squared off part here. I assume it's going to break right here. So. After soaking it, hopefully it will come apart here. I don't want to mar this up, but this isn't sealed against anything or not fitting in a sleeve or anything. I got no choice. This is my only hope. Oh! Mercy! Woohoo! We got it! All right. Now when you take these off, they're going to be spring-loaded. So you want to be careful. You want to hold the top. Wow. I've got one apart here. It's the cap. You want to make sure that all these little holes are clean. You can take brake cleaner or carb cleaner. They're all open. See that? You want to make sure there's even spacing all the way around there. So we'll take this one apart. Have it the same as the other one. Cap. See how that's beveled there? That beveled side goes up, goes here. And the needle here. So all these little ports got to be cleaned out. And then the springs in here with the cap on it. The nub goes into the spring. And then that other stop is in, there it is, and that. So that's how that all goes. I'm going to soak those, clean them all up, and then put it back together. Just gonna snug these down and we're gonna put them in and hopefully it'll start and run well. I got the injector pumps reinstalled, the linkage hooked back up, which is a huge job, the injectors reinstalled, and now the fuel lines hooked up. Good, 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 good. I'm gonna prime it, we'll try her again.
mercy, mercy. Now before I had the fuel problem with the injectors, I thought they were stuck open and some of that needs to be burn off, but uh, it looks like it's still got a problem. Obviously, it's running full throttle. We can't have that. And this throttle's not working at all. And what I think's happened is the linkage that goes into the injector pumps has disconnected here at the throttle, and that's why this shutoff's not working either. Anyways, I'm going to take this cover off, see if we can see what's going on. Here's a shot of what I'm working on. You can see when I press this lever, it operates the linkage. And that linkage ties to these injector pumps. So the linkage for the shutoff and the throttle are both working. Yet the engine's blowing all kinds of smoke. What I did next is I took the fuel line off the fuel pump, bypassed the fuel pump, and ran straight over to the fuel filter. And the reason I did that is I'm thinking maybe there's a problem with the fuel pump pushing too much fuel and that the fuel pump really isn't needed on this machine because the fuel tank is above the fuel filter and above the engine so it can gravity feed. So I bypassed that, ran the fuel line over and it's still blowing smoke and sounds like it's killing the engine so I'm really stuck and I don't know what else to do. And I'd appreciate you diesel mechanics giving me some feedback in the comments below on what I can do next to get this running and fixed. Thanks. And help.